The old world is dying. Against a backdrop of pollution and overpopulation, an incurable disease known as the Malachor plagues the land. Its weary population grows desperate. A single glimmer of hope lies on the horizon. An island, remote and hidden, has been discovered. It's a land spared by the plague, a haven of life, wild and untampered by mankind. It holds promises of riches, but also represents the best hope for mankind to find a cure to the Malachor. Guys, I'm pretty excited. This is uh, Greedfall, and this game has been getting a lot of attention lately uh, for its similarities to games like The Witcher 3 in terms of its quest design. Now, keep in mind, this is a smaller studio, um, so having those type of comparisons is going to be really tough to hit home. I'm just hoping for a really great story, something we can sink our teeth into, and uh, from what I've heard, the quest system is really good, and even side quests have twists and turns that you wouldn't expect, so we're going to get right into this, guys. This is Greedfall. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a good time here. Um, I'm not sure which difficulty mode is going to be best. I'm thinking extreme is probably just going to be just crazy. So we're going to go on hard for now. Enemies are more numerous, more aggressive, and they inflict more damage. Achieving success in this mode requires you to have a good grasp of the repose system and to upgrade your character strategically. Let's do that. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There, now, hold the pose. Okay, so uh, this is a cool way of doing the character creation. Uh, there's a lot of options here, it looks like. So I feel <laughs> I could be here no problem for an hour. Uh, but through the magic of the internet, I will figure out what I want to do and then show you what I've come up with. So as is tradition around here, I tend to lean towards like the whiter hair versions of uh, any character that I can create. Uh, this one we're going to go somewhere and we're going to have like some darkness with a touch of gray. I think that looks pretty good. This is our uh, Dissar Day next step. So we have to pick a starting class. Uh, the skill tree is open. You'll be able to unlock the skills of other archetypes as you progress. So we've got a warrior focused on melee combat, a technical class focusing on controlling the battlefield, and then a magic class uh, focusing on the use of offensive spells from a distance. Um, this one is not really my style. I'm probably more between technical and magic. And this is focusing on controlling the battlefield. We get a trap, some firearms, one-handed blades, which are pretty cool. Magic-wise, we have a divine magic ring, stasis, one-handed heavy weapons, and it tells us some recommended attributes and recommended talents as well. This seems pretty cool, and if we can, if we can go into any other trees, then we can always grab some magic stuff, which would be kind of sweet. Um, but what I like here is that we've got some firearms and one-handed blades just for some flexibility. And then if we can dabble in the magic as well, I think that would be pretty cool. So let's pick the technical class. Now we need to pick attributes. So we've got strength, agility, mental power, endurance, accuracy, and willpower. Strength increases the power of all melee attacks. And it's the attribute required to wield the best one-handed and two-handed blunt weapons. So there's stun percentages and armor damage. Uh, agility increases fury generation and all damage inflicted in melee combat. So this is for swords generally. This is to wear the best magic rings for mental power. Endurance is to wear heavier armors. Also gives us uh, HP it looks like and balance. Not sure how those play in just yet. Increase the power of all firearms and alchemical preparations. This is to... Uh, wield the best firearms. We get damage and armor damage. And then willpower increases maximum MP, so magic points and spell duration. And this helps wearing the best amulets and necklaces. Okay, so we should probably go with accuracy here with our class. And then charisma, talents. Um, 
Choose the talent in which you invest your starting point to progress your own way as you complete quests and explore the world. Okay. So we have Charisma. Slightly reduces merchant's prices and improves companion combat abilities. Increases the chance of success of some dialogue choices. We have Vigor. Letting you pass through certain difficult passages that require balance. Increase the ma maximum ammo capacity. Craftsmanship. Allows you to craft basic weapons and armor upgrades. Intuition slightly increases the number of ingredients and objects obtained through gathering and looting and unlocks some contextual dialogue options. Uh, lets you pick simple locks. Enemy traps are easier to see and allows you to make simple potions with science and destroy weak walls with the help of explosive files. Okay. I'm kind of a sucker for, like, whenever I see lock picking as a skill, I kind of just need to take it because if I come across something that I can't unlock, I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, that said, being able to unlock uh, extra dialogue options with some of these things could be nice too. But uh, I'm going to grab lock picking, and we'll see how frequently we get other talents and where we decide to put those and kind of craft our character accordingly. So, lock picking it is. Let's begin. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord! You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lord, please, I beg you! Her Highness has personally requested I finish this! Oh, thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. <laughs> Okay, so the compass visible at the top in the center of the screen indicates important places and active quest objectives. We've got main quest, side quests. Go and say goodbye to your mother. Okay. So my understanding is this game is really uh, political. I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. Oh, right back at you. Uh, a lot of uh, friendships and relationships to manage between different factions and you can also uh, utilize different methods of solving problems so you can fight you can talk your way out of things you can sneak there's uh, seemingly endless amount of options from early stuff that I've heard so hey green blood that's me green blood and so the day has finally come my royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. <laughs> Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Hmm. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! Attack three times. We can do that. Oh, we've got like this, uh, like the lightning almost around our gauntlets there. Ooh. Okay. We can dodge. That's cool. Feels good, actually. So what is all this? Lock on, left control, simple power hit, change weapon, dodge, parry.
We're actually doing pretty well here, guys. <laughs> nice. That feels really good, actually. One might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. <laughs> you already training for your new post of Leggett? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. Uh, go through. Is this going to be the exact same thing he just showed us? I would be up for that. A little last-minute training couldn't hurt. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training. Oh, cool. Partner. Okay. Go. Fight with. We'll honor. see if it shows us something else. Firearms. Okay. Firearms are ideal for interrupting or destabilizing an enemy. Each shot consumes one ammunition. Open tactical pause. Tactical pause will pause the game and allow you to choose your next action at your leisure. You'll be able to access your spells, skills, and potions to use directly or assign to a shortcut. Use it during combat. You can also learn about enemies around you. Okay, so we've done this. Now we want to assign. Assign the pistol to a shortcut. Let's see. Techniques, firearms. So if we want to bind this... Pick a slot. We'll just say one. We also have light, but let's just follow this. You can assign your skills to one of the shortcuts available using the appropriate key, which we've done. Whoa! <laughs> that is awesome! Okay, armor. Your physical armor level is shown with shields on the health bar. Armor absorbs part of the physical damage. To break an enemy's armor, you can use an impact weapon or certain traps. Magic attacks ignore armor. Okay. I don't know if we have an impact weapon, unless the, uh, the pistol counts as such. Break... Oh. Whoa, whoa! Okay, I've tactically paused unintentionally, but that's fine. A little tougher when there's two of them. So we can get stunned too. Nice. <laughs> it actually feels really good. See ya. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, wait. Oh, I couldn't even see that setting a trap. I, I was so... <laughs> I was so engrossed. Fury is a state that allows you to use special attacks and inflict bonus damage and make enemies lose their balance. A segmented meter that fills up as you attack an enemy, cast a spell, or parry attacks from enemies will allow you to see your fury level. When the meter reaches the first level, a visual effect will appear on your character's hands. Oh, that's what that is. Press Q to use a fury attack. Okay, how do we do the trap thing? Just give me some space here, team. Uh, zero? I might have to... <laughs> okay, so that's my fury. Oh! Sheath our weapon. Okay, there's like, there's a lot going on it here. It appears we've brushed up on the basics. It does, and I'd like to be on my way. I have quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes, you know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. Um, no, I think it's, I think it's cool. On the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Cossillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Ah, so the old goat is coming too. <laughs> and there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. 
By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. <sighs> I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine, I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. Hmm. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. So Kurt here... Sounds like he's been a kind of a hired mercenary for the family for quite a while. Because we made reference... He made reference to the fact that... Uh, he was protecting us when we were young. Or maybe we brought it up. But either way, there's more than just being a hired mercenary because we've developed this relationship, it seems. Uh, Corsalon was the guy from the beginning who told us that we're setting sail and we need to find our cousin. And it sounds like our cousin is like the future governor or something. So we need to find him as well. I am a sucker for Plague Doctor masks, let me tell you. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? Jeez, I've whoa. asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to- I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here, take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. So it seems like her case is a little too far gone, but the, we have this patch on our neck slash lower part of our face. And I'm guessing that's the Malachor as well. Said that there was a Discoverer's hat there. This is really cool. Kind of gives me, um, like the Plague Tale Innocence vibe a bit. Cut. It's done. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. I got you. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower boroughs. Near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Okay, team setup. We're going to add companions to our team. So one of the key things about Greedfall is being able to take out, I believe, two companions 
at any given time. And we have to consider their fighting style, but also the skills that they have and their relationships uh, with us and other factions. So let's see what we can find out here. Characteristics. So we get a really solid breakdown of uh, what his style is, his weapon, his defense, some other general stats, HP, and magic regen. Um, faction is coin guard, relationship level suspicious, friendship bonus, craftsmanship. I'm not sure what these mean, but I'm sure that we'll get introduced to this as we go. Uh, let's add him to the team. Okay. So you obtain a secondary quest. You can follow the details of your quest by reading the quest log, Where would you J like or to L. I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it's certainly worthy of inspection. So that uh, Corsalion guy was telling us that we he needed to visit uh, these two people, and we said we would do it in his in his uh, place. So notify the Bridge Alliance ambassador about your departure. Notify the Telem ambassador about your departure. But we also have this where we need to negotiate with the vendor. So if we display this on the map. Where are we? So it looks like maybe we'll go talk to the uh, Telem embassy first. And then we'll head down and talk to this guy. And then maybe cycle back through here. Look at all this. Oh my god. This is good. Okay. Let's go. I so badly want this to succeed, this game. I so badly want it to do well. Um, this studio, I think, has a lot of promise. Oh, look at that. So, I just noticed at the top of the uh, compass, if you bring it into that middle section, then it looks like you can switch your objective. That's actually really cool. Uh, yeah, sorry, I want this this studio to do well. Because um, it just shows a lot of promise, I think. Access to the map of the region. Okay, we kind of found that. Some coins here. Major magic potion, magic regen plus 1,000. And a poison alchemical mix. Sets of poison alchemical mix which explodes when an enemy comes close. Dealing elemental damage to all enemies within its range. Okay. Inventory, let's go. Okay. So within the bag, we've got a whole bunch of consumables that we can see. Things that we've picked up. Mother's present. Whatever this is, we know that'll be important. What else do we have here? So, we've got the rusty stiletto. The old rusted saber. We're using both of these, it looks like. And then we have an al alchemist rapier. Oh, hello. Hello. Yes, please. Fury generation, 6%. And we can see... I love when games do comparisons like this. That's really, really nice. Okay. In the second one... Do we want to maybe... Put the rusty stiletto in? I think probably. The only thing that we could consider is maybe that this one has a higher uh, armor damage amount. But it's pretty subtle. Okay, cool. Firearms. Oh, nice. So firearms do a ton of armor damage. And look at the stun. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, we'll do this. And look at the detail in the weapons. This is really cool. Let's switch this. What's the advanced view? Just more of a further breakdown. Use felt hat. Discover's hat this is what we saw pop up. Oh, yeah, way better. Way better. Plus it has whatever this is. Types of equipment. The bag. Okay. Intuition plus one. So is that just giving us a permanent boost to... These things? Hmm. Yeah, intuition. 
It's got that little plus symbol there. I'm Maybe that's what it's doing? I'm sure we'll learn about that. Um, Armor-wise... Oh, look at all... Look how different everything looks. That's really cool. I don't know if we have this because of... I don't know if this is just included with the game or they gave me like a... Uh, the same as maybe like a pre-order bonus or something. But we're definitely going to switch over to these. Gives us craftsmanship plus one. Nice. I actually really like that everything changes too. Um, visually. Because sometimes that won't happen. So far, super positive. Hawthorne. So I'm guessing all of this stuff that we're grabbing... Used for some type of crafting. Whoa, hello. Oh boy. That damage. Okay, hold up. Do we have healing? Yes, we do. Major magic or major health potion. Let's go health. Uh, let me actually bind this to two for now. I may have just shot our own guy. Move away. Thing there we go. Okay, so... <laughs> I mean, as we've seen when we're hitting them, those firearms are no joke. Health potions. I really hope those are plentiful. So it looks like we want to go left and around. And I'm guessing that top right is some type of experience bar. The painting's just sitting out here. Hello. Okay, more gold. Antidote. Potion that increases poison resistance and makes active poison effects dissipate more quickly for a long duration. And then we have a worn spiked hammer. Requirement one-handed heavy weapons. All right, we're going to take everything. For now, I'm kind of inspecting everything that comes up, but eventually we'll just be looting the whole box. Ah, uh, here we go. Hello, sir. Okay, this is the first guy we need to inform. Cardinal Antonius. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. Though Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. <laughs> of course Tell you were. Tell me more about it. And perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. 
Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The Prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. I think he probably feels like we're more naive than our uncle is, who I guess is the prince. Our mother is... Our, mo our mother was a princess. So... Okay. Just trying to feel out how the relationships are. Let's ask him about a couple of these things here. Um, Could you tell Tuleme? me anything about Teleme? Teleme. It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions <laughs> exist within our nation. Interesting choice of words for him. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. Oh, of course not. Uh, so religion and magic's kind of intertwined. I can't see any way that that's going to go poorly. Uh, what about the relations with the congregation? What's your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. Hmm. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. Well, okay, we kind of got a feeling of that from his request. So, fair enough. Uh, these guys came in as missionaries, and... We accepted, and now they're kind of spreading their religion here. And I think we're the ones that have conceded a little bit, it seems, in order to let them be here, but it's fine. Uh, Teleme's position on Tier Fredi. How is Teleme faring on Tier Fredi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult, disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. Hmm. So Tier Fridi, this is the island where I believe we're headed. And people think that there's a cure for the Malachor, like Mother said. Um, these guys are there in full force, spreading their Ordos Luminous, so that should be interesting. And I guess if we have a good relationship with them, that could be beneficial when we're over in Tier 4D. Uh, what about the Bridge Alliance? How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, 
The only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front. Without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on tier for D? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. Peacefully. You're right, right, right. Okay. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. <laughs> May the light guide you. I like that. Okay, thanks, man. We are out of here. So we said we were going to go look for... We had to convince somebody, right? Negotiating with the vendor. Is this our journal? Yeah. So the heretic hunt, we need to find this smuggler like he just asked, which we can take a look at. That's all we know about it. Uh, we have to negotiate with the vendor. And let's see what else is in here. So we've got a codex. We'll go through some of these later. And it looks like... Yeah, that's right. We have that spiked hammer here. I just want to clear that out. What else do we find? So anything in here that's new isn't marked. But that's okay. We'll just try and keep an eye on it. Okay, so let's see if we can deal with this vendor. For Kurt. The merchant is there. Oh, that's cool how he calls it out. Good day, good sir. How might I oh, be Jesus. of Jesus. You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. <laughs> There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. What's In the fact, issue? I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. <laughs> this is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. Well, why aren't we talking to the boss, then? Um... Ask what other merchants? Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise. If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. Well, they're not going to do, do that. In the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. <laughs> Kurt's like, right? Uh, let's Your see what else he has to say. Has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. <laughs> Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You're demanding a second payment, but refuse to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. Easy this way to deflect, fool but is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? <laughs> okay. Um, we've got a couple of options here. Charisma threaten a prison sentence with like I guess a fifty percent chance success rate. Intuition offer a bribe. I don't know what the one means. Maybe that's guaranteed. Threaten him or leave. Let's offer him a bribe. I'm certain we can come to an unofficial nice. arrangement. You are clearly the apprentice of a demanding master who expects you to follow orders without raising a brow. Life in your shoes can't be easy. Perhaps we could help you take the weight of your feet. And what would I have to do in exchange? If I give you the merchandise, my master will still demand the price you're supposed to pay me. Not if you were robbed. By pure chance. I mean, it could happen to anyone. What if the guards leave a little extra bonus <laughs> in your pocket as you look away? And while you're making yourself busy elsewhere, some of my men break in and collect. 
their merchandise. You'll just have to make a devastated, ah, the dastardly boldness of them face in front of your master, and we're done. And the bonus will be how much? Well, you won't be retiring with it. Oh. All right. Done. I'm with you. As soon as I've received my bonus, my eyes will grow weary-like. Ah, uh, not just yet. You'll get your bonus afterwards. The guard has already been taken once by... Yeah, there we go. Well, you can't hold it against me for trying. <laughs> Very well. Call for your men to come. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting us. Okay, so we have to inform the coin guard barracks of that plan, I suppose. Um, it also said our reputation went up. Cool. Well, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that things like that kind of get explained, like how all the reputation stuff really works. Um, can notify the bridge alliance. I think we'll go to the coin guard barracks here, and then we'll head up and do that. Excuse me, madam. Are you serious? Okay, I'm really low on... Uh... Oh, interesting. Are enemies specific to an area? My god. Oh! Whoa! They just destroyed us! Thankfully, we're right here. Alright, that's a good uh, wake-up call for how insane this is going to be. And it also kind of helps us with who we have to focus on in these fights. Yikes. There we go. Things are about to Okay. <laughs> I like that. I like that. As we get more comfortable with what type of problems we're running into. This should get better. Alchemical stasis mix. Set alchemical stasis mix that explodes on contact with an enemy, applying stasis on enemies in the explosion radius. Greater armor ointment. Quickly regenerates a great amount of armor. Oh, cool. Is that right? Is precious in these dark hours, but what you're about to discover could save your life. Snake oil. Is that what's going on here? Come closer now, good people. Don't be afraid. Come celebrate the miracle of science. Oh boy. You won't believe your eyes. This discovery will give you good luck, folks. Selection, whatever you need to be the talk of all terrain. Welcome, it's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Well, what do you have? You can buy and sell here. Um, actually, let's get rid of the hammer, get rid of the saber. And this pistol. We also have this old stuff. That I don't see a reason for us to keep. We're going to keep all of this. But let's see what he Thank sells. You visit. See you Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you again. You too. Have it's you been a minute. To your liking? What might I help you with? 
Okay, so he's got a ton of weapons. We have 58 gold, I guess, or coin. And these are pretty pricey. All right, dragon blood resin. Mainly in science to prepare basic alchemical preparations. Cool. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Sir Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Huh. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Kind of. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do <laughs> such a thing, Your Excellency. Yeah. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less... Uh, Illegal uh, That would be fine. Cool. The method matters not but this cargo must reach the aisle on the next ship Marvelous well, then so how do we pull I that off your return with utmost impatience? I'm certain you shall do what's required find a way to move the cargo to tier for D Okay, do we have any more info about this in here doesn't look like it. Hey Hmm, okay Find a way to move the cargo to tier for D. Where is this leading us? Let's see once we're out in the larger area. So this is taking us down here. I guess it looks like we are um, doing a couple things with Captain Vasco. Find the smuggler and find a way to move the cargo. I wonder... Actually, this would be super sick. If we can <laughs> maybe get that smuggler that we have to find to do this work for us. That would be cool. I don't know if that's a thing, but that would be really cool. Let's go notify the uh, Bridge Alliance ambassador before we get too far. And I don't know if these uh, notifications that we're being asked to do are just kind of a formality that is kind of perceived as being polite or seeing if they need anything before we go but seems like we like to follow the rules for now at least poison stuff so one of the things that we're gonna have to to do is um we're gonna have to utilize these things that we're picking up Didn't we see some t yeah stasis trap? Okay, so let's let's bind this to something like through uh we could put our traps maybe over on this side instead of poison trap on eight elemental trap is what we have set here. Um, we only have five shots left, and I'm not sure if we've been picking some of those up or not. But maybe that's something worth buying from those merchants. Anyways. Your Excellency. Lord Desade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I hope so. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. 
Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes. For he was success. holding something back there. You seem slightly hesitant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? <laughs> I wonder if it was Alas, the uh, yes. snake oil guy. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's follow that. Find the charlatan. I have a feeling it's the snake oil guy, but maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's see what he has to say about these things, the Would Bridge Alliance. Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. A legate needs to know the history and strengths of his allies. The Alliance was sealed by several nations of the Bridge around 200 years ago. The greatest of our cities, Al Saad, became the capital and a council formed from the different nations now rules. This union was originally put into place to better resist the appetites for conquering our neighbors, but our ancestors quickly realized that the union <laughs> had also strengthened us economically and culturally. And of course, exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance leads our world in science and exploration. Each day, we push the limits of our understanding further in each and every domain. That's cool. It's kind of like, uh, I'm not going to say modern day, but um, it reminds me of the time, I guess this similar time frame that this would be set in, where people are making all of these discoveries like nonstop, and it just feels like, you know, the possibilities are limitless. The relationship with the Congregation of Merchants. Could you give me your understanding of the relations between the Congregation and the Bridge? Our relations hang essentially on the quality of our trade and commerce. The exchanges are very profitable, especially on the cultural front. I will not hide from you that we have hoped you would join our number for quite hmm. some time. But your princes insist on maintaining a neutral stance between the congregation and the other nations on the continent. It is by all means a respectable position, even if it means you also trade with our enemies. Okay. Tier for D. The Bridge Alliance has been on Tier for D for much longer than we have. What can you tell me? It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island. An enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses. But they're not the only occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there, who speak an incomprehensible language. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough. He sounds, uh, he sounds very much like David Attenborough. <laughs> like, there's some things he says where if you close your eyes, um, he could, like, describe nature and I would be totally listening to him for hours. Uh, lastly, your relationship with Teleme. And what of your war with Teleme? It has been dragging on. In fact, it has been dragging on for years. It is madness. If those bigots hadn't gotten it in their heads to convert the entire continent, we wouldn't be in this situation. <laughs> but that's the way of the world. We shall not waver, whether here or on Tiafredi. Have you been fighting battles there as well? 
From what I've been told, Teleme has wisely and tastefully built their colony far from our city. Direct conflicts are, in fact, quite rare. But one day they will inevitably take place. Okay, thanks. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. We're starting to get a really good idea of these different factions. Uh, with various levels of trustworthiness. Okay, so here's the charlatan. There's a merchant there. Uh, we're going to head in this direction, I suppose. Discovered the prince's place. Look at this. What the? Poison alchemical mix. Okay, ammo. This is so we have. This is what we've been finding for uh, some of the guns, thankfully. I appreciate that these things that we can loot are marked with the kind of the floating particles. Wait, how does one? Hmm. There's definitely something back there. Oh, cool. Okay. Look at this. Gold coins. Mix of magic damage. Dealing elemental damage to all enemies within its range. And an old embroidered doublet. You don't say. So, this one increases our loot chances. 25%. This one gives us significantly more armor little bit extra balance and uh, elemental resistance that the other one does not have but we lose that we lose that loot chance um, in a perfect world we would run around in this and then change to this before we fight I love that everything has a unique look hmm all right let's keep this one for now. Search the area to find the charlatan. It's definitely this guy. Oh, it's definitely this guy. Citizens, I present That's so cool how that worked out. Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailments, oh, no. and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still... This little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the malachor. Alas, not yet. But so, so not everything. Your question Got it. is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure, but the malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Don't do it. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything, except the Malachor, of course. That being Disclaimer. said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Damn. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm going to take two. There's a man that knows He's a good, good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. 
He's our man. No okay. Doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. Don't do it, if Kurt. We had a word with him. I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. Guys, I gotta say, I am absolutely loving this right now. I am so sucked in. It's it's incredible. I'm really excited to see where this goes. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here. We'll deal with this guy, the charlatan, when we come back. And uh, who knows what we're going to get out of the deal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to put these up pretty regularly. Um, if you're interested, if this is your first video on my channel, if you consider subscribing, that would be great. Uh, you'll see a lot of this game coming up and uh, other games like it. Also, uh, since it's the first one of the series, if you guys could drop a like, it helps me a lot. And uh, I just hope that you have a good time. And we'll be back with more Greedfall very soon. Thank you so much. Have a great one, guys. Bye for now.